SmartLink versus Schematic 2 Pro. The truth about these J2534 giants you must know. Have you ever stood in your garage, tool in hand, wondering, which J2534 device is truly worth my money? Launch SmartLink or Schematic 2 Pro? If you've ever used dealer-level diagnostic software and thought, there has to be a smoother, more compatible tool out there. Then buckle up, because today we're diving deep into this very battle. Hey everyone, welcome back to your channel name, your trusted pit stop for all things auto diagnostics. Now before we fire up today's engine of knowledge, here's a tiny but important request. If you're someone who keeps coming back to our videos but hasn't subscribed yet, please consider hitting that red subscribe button. It's free, takes less than a second, and helps this channel continue to provide value-packed content. And here's a quick challenge. Can we hit 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in the first 24 hours? Drop a comment below if you've used either of these devices, and let's talk shop. All right, here's today's burning question. Do you know which J2534 device lacks support for do IP and can FD protocols limiting its use with newer BMW and Benz models? Think you know? Drop your answer in the comments before we reveal it at the end. Disclaimer, this video is for educational and informational purposes only. Everything we discuss and demonstrate here is to help technicians, enthusiasts, and learners understand auto diagnostics better. We strictly follow fair use policies, using references and visuals purely for review and learning. All product names, logos, and brands are property of their respective owners. Always follow OEM guidelines and your local laws while working on vehicles. All right, let's jump into the core of today's comparison. Launch SmartLink versus Schematic 2 Pro, two powerful J2534 pass-through devices, both claiming to rule the diagnostics world. But who really wears the crown? We'll begin with the Launch X431 SmartLink 2.0, which is quite the all-rounder. First off, yes, it's J2534 capable, meaning it works seamlessly with most OEM software like TechStream, HDS, GDS2, and more. Not only that, but it's future-ready with can FD and do IP support, making it compatible with the latest vehicle models that use faster data communication, like BMW F-Series or Benz do IP platforms. Its connectivity options include both USB and Bluetooth, making it versatile and workshop-friendly. You're not tied to one desk. You can diagnose remotely if needed. But SmartLink's real strength lies in its multi-brand versatility. It doesn't just stick to OEM programs. It's also compatible with third-party tools like PCM Flash, Combiloader, and more, offering wider programming support than most J2534 devices on the market today. On the flip side, let's talk about the Schematic 2 Pro, often referred to as the SM2 Pro. Now, this tool has built a strong reputation, especially for people who work with Nissan Consult or Renault Clip, thanks to its stable ignition on features. However, it does not support do IP or can FD, and that's a significant limitation if you're working on modern vehicles, especially German giants like BMW or Mercedes Benz. In terms of connectivity, Scammatic is a little more old school. It's strictly USB only, which means no wireless operation. That's not a deal breaker for everyone, but for technicians who need mobility or work in tight spaces, it's something to consider. Midway call to action. If this comparison is helping clear up your doubts, let us know by smashing that like button and typing smart link or Scammatic in the comments. Seriously, we love reading your feedback. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss another deep dive review like this one. Let's go deeper into performance. SmartLink 2.0 clearly has the edge when it comes to speed and stability. Users often report that the device runs several times faster than competing models. No random disconnections, no lag. It's rock solid during operation. And here's where it gets technical but exciting. SmartLink actually shows you a full layout of the pins in the connector. You can visually identify power lines, signal lines, can bus layout, and even monitor the data exchange rate. Now that's serious functionality for techs who want full control. Even more fascinating, it features a blind search mode, particularly helpful when working on heavy-duty HD vehicles. 
You can manually or automatically choose pins for communication, and SmartLink will assist by identifying those pins. If the system uses CAN, it can even shunt the line, offering three options, no shunt and two shunt variations. This means you're getting diagnostic control at a whole new level. Now, what about compatibility across different platforms? SmartLink isn't just a car guy's tool. It works beautifully with trucks too. In fact, it handles almost all J2534 pass-through software, whether you're flashing an ECU on a pickup or programming modules on a commercial diesel rig. If versatility is your priority, SmartLink delivers on all fronts. Meanwhile, the Scamatic 2 Pro has its niche. While not as wide in coverage, it excels in areas like Nissan programming, especially because of its ability to keep the ignition on state without any external workaround. For Renault Clip users, it also works without modification, which is a big plus for dedicated brand-specific techs. But price matters too, right? If you're buying the SmartLink adapter on its own, it costs about the same as the original Scamatic 2 Pro. That makes the decision even harder because you're not comparing apples to oranges anymore. These are two highly capable tools priced similarly, but with different strengths. Let's quickly recap where they shine. Launch SmartLink, best for multi-brand diagnostics, can FD slash do IP support, wireless connectivity, speed, trucks, and advanced pin level diagnostics. Schematic 2 Pro, best for Nissan Consult, Renault Clip, and stable OEM flashing in traditional setups, but without modern protocol support. And now it's your turn. Drop a comment and tell us which tool you prefer and why. Are you Team SmartLink because of its modern features and wide compatibility? Or Team Scanmatic because of its rock-solid stability with specific OEMs? Before we wrap up, here's my personal take. If you're in a general workshop handling various brands and need the latest protocol compatibility, Launch SmartLink 2.0 is a clear winner. Its speed, functionality, and forward-thinking features make it the better long-term investment. However, if you specialize in Nissan or Renault and don't need do IP or can FD, the Scamatic 2 Pro is still a strong, stable, and trusted choice. What's your opinion? Comment below and let's start a conversation. Your insight might help someone make the right buying decision. Final call to action before outro. And hey, if this video answered your questions or taught you something new, then do us a favor. Share this video with your garage buddies or diagnostic Facebook groups. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more content like this every week. Outro with answer to the earlier question. And now, the answer to our intro question. Which J2534 device lacks support for do IP and can FD protocols? Yup, you guessed it, Schematic 2 Pro. It's a great tool in its own right but it's not built for the latest models that use those newer protocols. Thanks a ton for watching all the way till the end. You guys are the reason this channel thrives. I appreciate each and every one of you, especially our regular subscribers who always show up with likes and comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, now's the perfect time. Hit that button, ring the bell, and don't forget to give a super thanks if you found value here today. Until next time, stay sharp, keep diagnosing, and I'll catch you in the next one.